In this presentation, we will be discussing Hurricane Katrina and Cyclone Nargis. We will be looking at the difference between the two and which of the population were more, more vulnerable. Hurricane Katrina was one of the deadliest hurricanes ever to hit the United States. An estimated 1,836 1, people died in the hurricane, and millions of others were left homeless along the Gulf Coast and New Orleans, which experienced the highest death toll. Officials at the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have said Katrina was the third most destructive storm to strike the United States. It ranked sixth overall in strength of recorded Atlantic hurricanes. At its peak, maximum winds stretched 25 to 30 nautical miles, and its extremely wide swath of hurricane force winds extend at least 75 nautical miles to the east from the center. An estimated 80% of New Orleans was underwater up to 20 feet deep in places. On this slide, we give you more facts and figures about Hurricane Katrina. Um, okay. The frequency of hurricanes in the area, specifically of New Orleans, is somewhat frequent. In fact, a hurricane hits New Orleans every four years. Several Category 1 hurricanes have hit New Orleans, such as Hurricane Brenda, Esther, Tilda, Florence, and so forth. However, a Category 5, such as Gustav or Andrew, hits New Orleans once in a while. So this also shows the regularity. Though hurricanes are no random occurrence in the area, having a Category 5 ha hurricane is not very regular. The duration of the hurricane lasted for about eight days. However, the damage lasted for much longer. The aerial extent and spatial dispersion was slightly more diffuse than concentrated and widespread due to the storm affecting more than one state. On May 2, 2008, Cyclone Nargis made landfall in Burma, terrorizing the country for two days. It is the seventh deadliest cyclone of all time. It was estimated that about 85,000 people were killed and 54,000 reported missing. UN estimates that up to 2.4 million people have been affected by Nargis. In the town of Bogale alone, 80,000 people lost their lives. The frequency of Indian Ocean cyclones is similar to Hurricane Katrina in that they happen every few years in Burma. The cyclone lasted for a week, making it not short but not a long duration either. The same could be said that Nargis's damage lasted for much longer than a week. The area extent was midway limited and widespread due to its mostly aff affecting Burma and a few other countries such as Bangladesh, India, and Sri Lanka. The speed of onset is the same as Katrina, where it rains for days and takes a while for the cyclone to dissipate. The spatial dispersion is more concentrated due to it having heavily affected the delta in Burma. Burma shows history of past Category 4 cyclones in the past, and it was not a random occurrence. The socio-economic variation in Hurricane Katrina is that it is a bottom-up system, where because of its democratic political power, the people were provided with immediate aid and health care following the hurricane. We see a contrast to this in Burma in the next slide. Because of the economic disparity in New Orleans, those with lower economic status were much more vulnerable than those with more income. We will see later the ethnic variation in this. Because the U.S. is much more urbanized than Burma, the infrastructure and shelter allowed the people to be less vulnerable in comparison to those in Burma. And the high HDI of the U.S. also just suggests a low vulnerability due to high education, wealth, and health. The socioeconomic variation in Cyclone Nargis is such that Burma had a top-down system, where its political power was in the hands of the government. Due to this military junta, it heavily affected Burma prior to and especially after Cyclone Nargis. In fact, the government restricted aid to the country after Cyclone Nargis, risking people's lives further. In Burma, it is considered less developed than the United States, and there was a lack of facilities and proper infrastructure, making people more vulnerable due to the lack of good shelter or protection. Burma is known to be poorer than the United States due to it being more rural than urban, causing further vulnerability to Burmese people. The HDI in Burma is lower than the HDI in the USA suggesting lower education, wealth, and health. This composite indicator already suggests higher vulnerability. As you can see on the slide, the GDP per capita in Burma in 2008 was $1,817 compared to $43,480 in the USA in 2005. This disparity in wealth led to the people in New Orleans being much better prepared for the hurricane than the population in Burma. Due to this income allowing for a better education, infrastructure and greater access to cars and other forms of private transport. Burma also has much higher youthful population, which are considered to be much more vulnerable than large older populations, which add to the vulnerability of the country, while the USA has more of a working class. 
As we see, statistics show that 51% of people that died or were severely injured in Hurricane Katrina were African American. African Americans have only been accepted into the American society, meaning they would still have lower economic status and other factors that all fit into the vicious cycle of poverty. This caused them to be more vulnerable as compared to white people during and after Hurricane Katrina. Ethnic variations is evidently present in Burma. The majority of people affected came from the Bamar ethnic minority, composed of 68% of Burma in the Iyer Wadi region. Burma restricted aid to the majority of people in this area, except for the military. Because this group of people living in rural areas, they didn't have the means and capacity to be prepared when compared to an urban society. They had no proper shelter, didn't have big income and many. Though they were both densely populated, U.S. was much more prepared and had better means of infrastructure due to it being more urbanized than rural Burma. US also, USA also has a higher income as compared to Burma. The HCI of the USA also suggests less vulnerability due to its having higher ranking social factors in comparison to Burma. Because of all these factors, people in Burma were more vulnerable than people in the United States.